Hello everyone, and welcome to The Closet. I'm Sabrina. We've been getting a lot of emails from readers asking how to tie the hijab with the earrings. So today, we're gonna take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to do it. This is Jasmine. She is going to be our model today, and we're gonna tie the hijab on her. So we're gonna start by putting her hair in kind of like a loose bun. And you can tie this as high or as low as you want. I know some women feel more comfortable tying the bun a little bit lower because that's gonna be like this right here. So depending on how high you want it, that's how you can do it. And then we use, I use actually, these headbands always. And they're from H&M, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere they sell these kinds of products. I like this because it actually holds your hijab in place better. I mean, if you feel like you don't need to wear this, that's fine. Some people don't like to wear underscarves, but if you don't, what tends to happen in my experience is that the little, little hairs on the side that everybody has, they start to come out. And then we're gonna give her a pair of earrings. Then you take your hijab, your scarf. This is a, like a long rectangular one. And you have to kind of be mindful for the tags. So here's a tag. So we're gonna make sure that tag is hidden. And then we're gonna take the side with the tag, and we're gonna fold a part of it down. So all I did was, see the scarf is long, and then the tag is down here, and I just folded a small piece of the scarf down toward the tag. Whichever side you wanna pin it, that side should have more fabric. So this is gonna go over Jasmine. You can do this as low as you want, and a lot of people, you know, it kind of depends on the shape of your face and what you feel more comfortable with. Um, I like to tie mine really super low. Some people like to tie theirs higher, so we're gonna do Jasmine's like halfway just because I think this looks good on her face. And then we're just gonna make sure that we're covering her ears on both sides. And now wh what's happening back here is we basically have two things that we can hang on to. This is the long side, which we're gonna wrap under her chin and around her head, and this is the short side that we're gonna basically wrap into a bun behind her head over the ponytail that we made a few minutes ago. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna wrap it underneath like this, and then it's just gonna go over this hand and this hand. So this is gonna go over this side, and then the little piece, is it okay in the front still for you? So you're gonna leave this hanging, right? So don't mess with that anymore and take this little one and just wrap it all the way around. And you have this little extra extra fabric. And see, we, we hit the tag, here it is. So we don't have to worry about that now. And you're just gonna tuck it in anywhere. Now we have this that's hanging, right? Okay, so your scarf is gonna be one of two ways. Either like this at a diagonal, where the front of it is gonna be a little bit higher, like this, or it's gonna end up like this, where the diagonal is gonna come the opposite way, and it's gonna be, the higher point is gonna be on the outside. It's gonna be away from your body. We don't want this. <laughs> this is going to choke you when you pull it around here, and it's gonna get all tangled up, and it's, it's not gonna be fun. So make sure that, and, and it's not like a big deal. You can turn your head a little bit. You can just flip flop it here. So it's not like you have to, you know, start all over again. We want to make sure that the shorter piece is closer, closer to Jasmine. Okay, so next we have our hijab pins, and we're going to need two. The first one you use, it doesn't really matter what color it is or what it looks like, and I just like to use these little ones, and these are from, like, a regular pinwheel from a fabric store. We're going to use this one as our first one. We're going to pin here. And if we don't pin something here, what's going to happen is you're going to do this and you're going to bring it around your neck and the bottom of your earlobe is actually going to show. So we're going to <laughs> pin it right in here. So we have this pin in here and now a little bit of her earlobe is showing and that's okay right now because when we're done we can just pull this top part of the hijab down that we wrapped. But if we didn't have the pin, then there'd be no way to fix that. Is your ear okay? Okay, now we're gonna pull this under her chin and across her chest. And we're going to flip this earring out. 
and we're gonna pull this scarf, this side of the scarf, it's gonna go over her bun. So see where her, we made that ponytail earlier? It's just gonna go right over that. And then we're gonna go back to our hijab pins. Some people like something fancy that matches their outfit and some people just want something, you know, plain and simple. So, well, Jasmine, you can pick whichever one you want. So we're just gonna do this, these little flowers. And if you're wondering where these pins come from, they kind of come from like really anywhere. I know a lot of times at the mosques, they have like tables they set up and a lot of women who come with their, you know, who set up their own small businesses at these tables and they bring, you know, clothes for women and they bring these kinds of pins. But I mean, I'm sure you can find them online. I think I actually got these from my mom, so. The way that we pin this is that we weave in and out. So you're gonna like, pin, push it in, and then bring it above the fabric, and then under the fabric and over the fabric. It's just like the way that, you know, you would sew, like a needle goes above and below. And remember, the longer your scarf is, the lower it will come, you know, over your chest if that's what you feel more comfortable with. And the longer it is, the longer it'll fall on this side. So the one we use for Jasmine, um, we left sort of the edges hanging, but the one we have for me, it's like a little bit longer in the back. So it just it depends on what you know what you like, what makes you feel comfortable. The trick to making sure that your earlobes don't show is when you do the first thing where you fold the hijab and then you wrap it behind your bun, just really make sure that it's low over your earlobes. I mean, I did this on Jasmine, so obviously it's not gonna be as neat as if she had done it to herself, but <laughs> I think it looks good. Thanks for watching this episode of The Closet. For more information about products used in today's episode, or to have your fashion queries answered, email us at thecloset at sliceoflemon.com.